cats, no sex like snow sex. I'm done with my timber, so I'm taking my serge jacket and leaving. Hey, Morky, since this year was a leap year, that means you get to do another Smut Timber episode! Another movie? Tell me, I already did that joke on episode 15. Yep, and the sorority boys in the dance of thunder death, you did the same joke. Okay, I need a different reaction then. In touch with the ground, I'm lost and I'm found. I'm on the hunt, I'm after you. Smell like a sound, discourse and ground. And I'm hungry like the wolf Straddle the line in discourse and rhyme I'm on the hunt, I'm after you Straddle the line in discourse and rhyme And I'm hungry like the wolf Whoever catches this here chicken gets that goat as a prize Okay. Okay, last year the final movies that I reviewed for Smut Timber were The Pig Keeper's Daughter and Sassy Sue. And y'all know my reaction to those movies. I think both these movies gave my eyes syphilis. You know, just watching both these movies just kind of made me feel dirty. I gotta do something about it. So now I have to sit through two more softcore porno movies featuring some hot girls sleeping with or well, screwing the kneecaps out of some scuzzy looking guys made by the same filmmakers again? <laughs> well, at least they're not hardcore pornos, so there won't be any penetration. But if I was you, I'd turn around right here now. Hey cat, stay away from that DVD, you'll get chlamydia. I'm gonna buy a truck. Let's start with Midnight Plowboy first. It's about a country guy who uh, comes to Los Angeles and... That's just a plain ordinary elevator. Well, it might be an elevator, but when it gets to the top, them people's gonna be dumped into the silo. Buck Adams looks Look, confused. Uh, friend, don't, uh, don't you worry about that. Uh, we'll take care of that. Now you just uh, move on. And he works at a horror house. He's gonna live with us, you know, and he's never been to a cat house before. <laughs> no boy. <laughs> Wait till I go home and tell my sheep about this. <laughs> okay, Natalie, I would like you to sit on my face and make yourself heavy. Your slightest wish is my commit. That black girl's having sex with John Lennon. Well, ma'am, I really want to thank you. You know, I just, I just thank the whole world of you. I mean, I just... I just think the whole world was meant for you. And I'd really like to give it to you. I mean, I don't know much about love or anything. And 
Well, I guess if I did know a lot about love, God damn it, I'd sit right here and I'd say I loved you. Funny thing about this movie, toward the end, you actually get a performance coming out of it. I'm just a dumb farm boy, from, and, and I, I don't know nothing about city folk or anything. And I don't know much about you women and, and, and the people and all the city folks out here and stuff, but every night I just pine for you. And for several times during the week. I just know that I love you, Bernice. An actual genuine performance. Maybe it's because I've seen four movies now. I kind of get the idea of how things are going. I start to see the alter um, perspective going on from Buckaloo Bethel. Yeah, like that's his real name. Um, directing and Harry Novak's producing and John Toll's performance. Um, I start, you know, I get familiar with it so I can understand it. So it wasn't as bad watching Midnight Plowboy as much as the other ones. Have a nice nap. Yeah. Where's all the girls? They're in the back visiting. Had no customers. This guy's still got to have sex in the movie. The same guy has sex with this chick in Country Cousins. I think we all would agree that we would rather watch him pet the other pussy that's in this shot. <sighs> so Country Cousins is about a country family that lives in the deep south of the Hollywood Hills. Morning, Uncle Pastor. Morning. I mean, yeah, that's Los Angeles. Los Angeles. It plays off as a one-note Beverly Hillbillies type thing. You know, a rich cousin comes in and deals with the people, and, you know, they're from the country. Fester, I want you to make all our kinfolk comfortable when they get here. There's lots of room in the barn for them that wants to stay overnight. Now mind that pig don't fall out. They get a cousin who's more high society, and so she's trying to make fun of them, and uh, she ends up having a good time because she drinks moonshine, and uh, so she invites them to their to her house in Los Angeles, which is, you know, just down the block, and uh, they go there and they kind of show her up because they dress up all nice and you know, fancy. They don't get all country, and. Uh, they get along really well with everyone in the party. Introduce myself. My name is Walter Wimpy, and I just happen to be a personal manager. Oh, great! George Buck Flowers in this. What? What's my, what's my personal manager? Well, that's somebody who manages you personally. Yeah. Why don't we uh, go someplace where we can uh, talk it over when there's not so much noise? <laughs> oh, everyone is so nice in this. <laughs> George Buck a really cool character actor. You might know him from, uh, well, he was the bum in uh, Back to the Future. He was in Taking It All Off. He was in, uh, he, he was in uh, They Live. Uh, you know, he was in The Wilderness Family. <laughs> Movies. And, you know, you see him, you go, all right, it's that guy. And then in this movie, you see his boss. No, no, no. Yeah. There's something I didn't need to see. Eh, maybe I shouldn't be too surprised. I mean, he did produce Taking It All Off and Bikini Car Wash Company. Plus, he actually said lines like this in a family film. Except you stuck in my pocket. And what the devil is it? <laughs> Looks like a box to put your doodads in. I call it my doodad box. So if you like movies with sub hee haw humor and watching CD people slurp and drool and slobber all over body parts and pretend to have sex while they're riding on stomachs and kneecaps, check this movie out. But uh or check these movies out. Otherwise, well, you probably live a well-adjusted life, and you really don't need to see these things. Yeah. Sir, I, I, I can't swim! Ah, no. Oh, 